Hey everyone, welcome back to Pokemon Light Platinum. This is Curly Haired Hero. Previously, we were in Esmeralda City and we took down the Team Steam grunts that were in the Botanical Library. We rescued um, the Emerald Esmeralda, sorry, City Gym Leader Esmeralda. And then after that, we went to her gym and beat her ass. Now that's done, we're making our way through Route 407, I believe it is. Route 407. But before that, I have a bit of a team update. So I went ahead and we caught Elizabeth after, you know, I lost uh, her after my <clears throat> thing decided to just reset by itself without me, you know, doing anything basically. It just had some weird bug that presumably is fixed now knock on wood. Um, I also went ahead and got Lario, trained him up, and he managed to evolve into a Luxio, so you know, he's doing pretty good. Um, I trained up the Zoro that I stole last episode at the Botanical Library. I don't know if I said Garden last time. <laughs> I might have said Garden last time, because I say Garden a lot by accident, because I'm used to saying Botanical Gardens. Anyways, and finally, I got a Grimer. <laughs> now I know this is pretty weird, but I found one in Route 406, and uh, you know, for whatever reason I felt like training Grimer. felt like training Pokemon that I usually don't train. I mean, I've trained a Psyduck before, not too often. I've trained a Shinx, Luxio, Luxray, whatever, like once, <laughs> and that's when Diamond Pro came out, and that's really about it. Never really trained Azura, and I've... Uh, Pretty sure I've never trained a Grimer outside of maybe a Nuzlocke challenge. So I decided to pick them all up. I leveled them up all to 25, thanks to the Lucky Egg. But before I keep going, I'm gonna go ahead and give uh, Elizabeth the Amulet Coin. I don't really know who I should be training up next, because I don't know who the next gym leader is, or rather what the next gym is. But Elizabeth is already in the first spot on the team, because she was the last one that I actually trained. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep using her. So yeah, I've put everyone else to sort of take a quick rest at the uh, PC. That being Fanny, um, what are their names? Growlithe, uh, Joestar, and Ariel. And we'll get back to them later on. I figured I'd spice things up, train a new little team for a good while. At least maybe for like two badges and switch back to the other guys, see how they're doing. Such and such. Similar to what I did in Pokemon Z. Alright, so we got here very interesting route because there's like a ton of water Pokemon in this route. Quite a lot of them actually, but I actually accidentally faced this guy off camera. But he didn't really have much. For whatever reason, he still has a Metapod. I don't know what's up with that. In his game's abundance of people with Metapods. But I mean, what can I really do about that? Now you know the power of bug Pokemon! <laughs> I bet you this guy's gonna have a Metapod too. Oh well. But yeah, um, I'm not exactly sure what it is that's going to happen next because I don't really remember what it was that I did when I first played this game, or rather the only time that I ever played this game aside from this time. Um, uh, so I don't know what's really going to happen. I know that Team Steam and Ash Ketchum, and I think also maybe Professor Rowan, I don't, someone else, I don't remember who, is at Sheenport uh, City because some shit is going down there. So I'm guessing I have to head there, but where that is, is, you know, <laughs> unbeknownst to me. I have absolutely no idea. Nope, it's gonna kill me. All right, it's fine. Um, what can I kill you with? I guess I'll go into Muriel. So Muriel has secret power, and she doesn't take, ooh, sweet. And she doesn't take any hits, or rather, she doesn't take a lot of damage from poison uh, missile, not needle, poison missile. See, it has a freaking metapod. Why do you have a level 23? Who needs a level 3, level 3, level 3 metapod? Honestly, riddle me that. Who needs that? Honestly, who needs such a Pokemon in their life? Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and train a Muriel just because I, whatever gym or challenge I have to do next, I doubt that I'm gonna probably need Muriel. Muriel is a really typical Pokemon to use. Oh, sweet, I got leftovers. Just because poison isn't really that useful, honestly. It would have only been useful against uh, Esmeralda, but I already took her down. 
And uh, I think most of our Pokemon were bug, or rather, poison types as well, so it wouldn't have really mattered. Finally, a cute trainer to battle. Hey, what's up? <laughs> uh, JK. Um, so I don't know. We'll see what happens. Because I really have no idea what's going to be coming up next. I think you're actually a pure grass type. Let's see. Yes, sweet. One of the fewer pure grass types in the entire game. Okay, cool. I always thought, um, afterwards that it becomes a, no, I don't want to learn screech. Why do I want my pile of shit to yell at people? You're a poison type. I know that much. I always thought Chikorita, or at least Bayleaf and Meganium, were grass and poison types, but I guess I was completely wrong. I mean, grass and poison type are pretty much all of the grass types, but it's actually not that bad of typing. I mean, it gives them some, um, what's the word, some coverage that grass types don't have, which I guess is alright, but at the same time, it doesn't really give them too much strength, because bug, or, God damn it, why do I keep saying bug? <laughs> Poison isn't exactly the greatest thing in the world, aside from the fact that it can take down fairies, and that's literally it. It can only damage fairy and um, grass types, so I don't know. There's not a lot of pure grass types, and there's also a lot of Pokemon that resist Poison type attacks, so that doesn't really work. Oh yeah, so maybe I can find it here now. Okay, I guess not. Well, you see how like the um, the water ripples back and forth um, in the lake, the Morphine Lake. You can actually walk under ripples and it would count as an encounter that's what I was talking about which is yeah like here which is why I actually managed to catch um, Ariel maybe I can no never mind it doesn't count uh, let me just keep going on over here oh sweet an ultra ball that's not that bad since you know <laughs> this game's economy is really all whack and the only thing I can buy are freaking ultra balls uh, for whatever reason. I mean, Ultra Balls sure are the greatest balls <laughs> you can buy, but, I mean, I barely have money. I mean, uh, now I have a decent amount of money. You know, I can actually get it, but that's only after using the Amulet Coin and not buying stuff for a while. But in the beginning, things were kind of rough, especially since there were so many Pokemon to go sort of find and catch. Port of Marine Lake. Marine Lake? That's kind of an amazing name. A trip across the lake costs 600 Poké Dollars. Would you like to board the ferry? Why the hell not? Let's go! Time to board now! Yep. Okay. So, the boat went sideways. Ran me over for like, a second or two. Then it dropped me off. <laughs> I would be more shocked, except I've seen this whole sideways uh, boat thing happen a lot. And that's because there's no, um sprite I'm guessing or I'm pretty sure there's no sprite of the boat going uh, what's the word vertically they only have sprites of the boats going horizontally in all these games which is why they always have to do that in a lot of hacks which they do in a lot of hacks they make these boats do these weird dumb things but whatever I don't know why they couldn't just make boat sprite but maybe they can't do anything about that I mean I don't know how um how ROM hacks work per se. I've never made one myself. I've wanted to when I was younger. I was actually involved in like two or three ROM hacks um, doing sprite work. But unfortunately, these projects never left like the planning stage. They kind of just stayed in the sort of like, oh yeah, we're going to do this. We got the people for it, and then nothing ever happened after that. I remember one of them, I think, was going to be actually a Yu Gi Oh game. If I remember correctly, or maybe not. I'm pretty sure one of them was a Yu-Gi-Oh game, and I made some pretty cool Yu-Gi-Oh sprites, um, Yu-Gi-Oh Pokemon sprites for it, but obviously it never got to use. A bunch of other stuff, I don't really remember. I did a lot of random sprite work in uh, the past, but nothing really big. Just for like random people that need sprite work, and they just happened to like my work, so I did it. Like, my sprites are a lot better now. Before, they were pretty simple. There wasn't really much I could do. They were more like edits. Um, like, literally just edits. Like, I would edit the color, add a couple of things. Nothing really too complicated. Not really too much. Like, I didn't really try and branch out too much. I mean, I, I don't know why, per se. I was, I guess, kind of uh, comfortable with what I was doing. Because I mainly just... Anyways, sorry about that. Back to wrecking this ambipomp. So, like I was saying, I uh, did a lot of work or a lot of sprite work, didn't really get involved in too many ROM hacks, I wanted to, and I was sort of up for the job, did a couple of like 
Rude Mary, Ruth, Rude, 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 A lot of preliminary work for the the ROM hack, but these hacks never sort of fell through. So none of that really happened, unfortunately. I do have like the um uh, the means of doing it because I've like done some research and what it is that you need to make a ROM hack, but I've never actually put the time and effort to doing that. Hey guys, sorry about that. It actually hasn't been a long time. Sorry, it actually it's been a long time since I've had to sort of pause my video, do something, start recording again. It used to happen a lot to me. Damn, that didn't make any sense. Let me <laughs> gather my thoughts. That used to happen to me a lot way back when I started out, which is actually funny because my, I guess, one year anniversary is coming up in like a couple of weeks, in like two or three weeks, which is interesting that this would start happening now because it's been happening the last couple of recordings, but um, anyways, <laughs> the hell was I talking about? I was talking about sprite editing. Um, what I was trying to get at is that basically I started doing sprite editing. Can I ever attack? Please? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Are you kidding me with this bullshit, you stupid ambipom? My god. There we go. What I was trying to get at is that, um, I guess I'll use Muriel. Or, sorry. Uh, Lario. <laughs> I'll switch out Muriel, because Muriel died. I'll give you the amulet coin. And, uh, yeah. I mainly started getting into sprite editing because I was doing a lot of Pokemon role-playing and I liked the idea of having my own personal, I guess, avatar for when I did that kind of stuff. So that's kind of how I you know, started doing sprite editing to begin with. And I was kind of, I guess, astonished of like how easy it was, how I could just hop into paint, take a sprite, and you know, mess around with it, make it look like something completely different, and mine at the same time. Sorry. Um, <laughs> um, it was really cool. So I just kept doing a lot of that, and I got really entertained while doing that, even though it's really something simple. But I don't know. It's what I've passed. It's what I passed a lot of my time doing when I was growing up. Brombrock. Brombrock Town. All right, I guess. Brombrock Town is very clean and unpolluted because we are eco-friendly. That's cool. All right, so I made it here to Brombrock Town. Seems to be a plane over there. Any gym? I wonder what gym this is. No, this is a Pokemon Center. Whoopsie, I am blind. <laughs> there's a crazy ass fucking Starly over here. Okay. Um, let me see if there's a gym in this town. Let me uh, change my clothes so I can go really. Oh, poke. We finally meet again, Cross. I expect our battle will be fought with great skills as we are both strong trainers. Get ready. Let's do this. Why did I not walk into the Pokemon Center? Oh shit, and he has four Pokemon to my two. Alright, maybe Lario can somehow pull this out of his ass. Uh, let me think. Ugh, I don't really have anything useful that I can use, honestly. Oh well, great, it's gonna paralyze me. Awesome. Just what I need. Thank you, Red. This is exactly how I wanted to start off my first rival battle. Paralyzed. Alright, so I think Grass Resist, goddamn it. Grass Resist, um, come on. Resist Electricity, oh, and I'm dead. So I don't know if that would have actually done any real damage. Alright, so my best hope now, he's gonna have to end up being Zora. Zora's actually pretty strong. Surprisingly, I mean, it's really tiny. It doesn't really take a lot of hits very well, but it actually hits pretty hard, even though its attacks aren't really that strong. Uh, and I lost a bunch of cash. And I'm here again. Stay fresh. <laughs>